Hi, my name is Pachia Lucy Vang, and I am a Hmong textile researcher from the U.S. who's going to be working with TAC for the next three months. Today I'm going to be talking to you about two of the Hmong handicraft pieces here in TAC's shop, uh, which are made by the white Hmong people in Luang Prabang. Uh, in the Hmong language, handicraft or embroidery means, uh, is pandao, and pandao means flower cloth. And so the first piece of bandao that we have here is called the da cha. Da means spirit and cha means jacket. Um, and that's because this piece traditionally goes onto the back of a woman's jacket, as you can see right here. Uh, the motifs on this piece include eyes. So on this jacket, you see two eyes. And on this piece, you see four eyes here. Um, and that's because the Hmong believe in spirits. So to avoid bad spirits and to protect yourself from them, um, you put this at the back of your jacket to fool them uh, and to make them think that even from the back, that is the front of the person. And so the second piece of bandao that we have is called the tushi. Um, and because they have the dacha in the back, they also wear an apron in the back, just like they wear an apron in the front. Uh, this front apron here is decorated by the tushi, which translates tu means tail and shi means belt. Um, and these pieces then create a decorative belt that's attached to the front apron. Uh, this is a traditional apron here, and as you can see, there are five Dushi embroidery designs here. Attached to that is a long red or pink sash that you then would wrap around your body and tie in the back of you like a tail, which is where it gets its name from. So if you would like to learn more about Hmong culture and Hmong embroidery, I encourage you all to visit TAC here in Luang Prabang.